The Song of Pelinol, Volume 6, On His Madness. Edra's Note, Volume 1 through 6, are taken from the so called Riman manuscript located in the Imperial Library. It is a transcription of all the fragments collected by an unknown scholar of the early Second Era. Beyond this, little is known of the original source of these fragments, some of which appear to be from the same period, perhaps even from the same manuscript. But as no scholarly consensus yet exists updating these six fragments, no opinion will be offered here. And it is said that he emerged into the world like a padomiac, padomiac that is born by Sithis and all the forces of change therein. Still others, like Fifth of the New Teed, say that beneath the Pelinol's star armor was a chest that gaped open to show no heart, only a red rage shaped diamond fashion, singing like a mindless dragon, and that this was proof that he was a myth echo, and that where he trod were shapes of the first urging. Pelinol cared for none of this and killed any who would speak god logic, except the fair Perif, who he said enacts rather than talks, as language without extortion, extortion is dead witness. When those soldiers who heard him say this stared blankly, he laughed and swung his sword, running into the reign of kind to slaughter their Iliad captives, screaming, O oh, Akka, for our shared madness I do this. I watch you watching me, watching back. Umaril dares call us out, for that is how we made him. And it was during these fits of anger and nonsense that Pelinol would fall into the madness where whole swaths of land were devoured in divine rampage to become void, and Alessia would have to pray to the gods for their succor, and they would reach down as one mind and soothe the white strake until he no longer had the will to kill the earth in whole. And Garid of the men of Ge once saw such a madness from afar and maneuvered after it had abated to drink together with Pelinol, and he asked what such an affliction felt like, to which Pelinol could only answer, like when the dream no longer needs its dreamer.